Hello everyone, welcome to yet another video on Tutorials Point with me Richa. Well today in this segment of customer service, what we will talk about is measurement of customer satisfaction. Well all organizations and brands who are selling their product and services really want to know how satisfied their customers are by using their product or services. Am I right? So let's get started on this particular module right away. Well, on the agenda today, we will talk about what exactly is customer satisfaction? How do you measure your customer's satisfaction? Tips for realistically determining your effectiveness? Why surveys which are conducted don't always reflect a reality? Ideas for evaluating your own performance as a surveyor? And what measurement of satisfaction means to your business? Well friends, what exactly is customer satisfaction? Let's give it a definition. It is a marketing term that is measuring how products and services supplied by a company meets or surpasses a customer's expectation. So generally it is a gimmick, a marketing gimmick which is done by most of the organizations. Customer satisfaction is important because it provides marketeers and business owners with a matrix that they can use to manage and improve their business. Everybody today wants to improve and really want to highlight their business that they are doing. And when they do that, they definitely want to keep their customers satisfied and happy. So this is basically a marketing gimmick which is taken care by most of the people. So how do you really measure your customer's satisfaction? There are certain techniques to do that. The first is outline goals and plan. Well, in business, one must weigh the value of additional information, that is the customer satisfaction data, in relation to the cost of collecting it, which is the survey process. Your first step really becomes how to have a goal and a plan of action to get the survey done. The second is creating your customer survey. Every organization has a different way of additionally, uh, you know, trying to do this particular survey. So, based on the goals and plans that you have made for yourself, Create a customer survey. Time and place is very important because while a customer who has to give this particular feedback or rating on your survey, it is important that the time and place really matters a lot. Fourth is analyze the survey data. Whatever you have collected, you need to make sure that you give it some kind of analysis. So once you've collected your data, make sure it just doesn't sit there dormant and unused. You've got all the survey insight and it's just now waiting to be uncovered. So do not just sit there, use all the analysis after collecting the data. Fifth is make the adjustment, which means now that you can identify these people, perhaps you can work with your customer marketing and customer success teams to plan certain programs for them. So once you have collected everything, make sure that you use it to your advantage and make sure that you keep your customers satisfied. Well, according to a survey which is done for customers, let's look at what are certain things which are important as a customer. Travel time, how much are you really traveling to get this particular survey done? Safety and security while you're getting the survey done, there has to be a safe environment for the customers to talk it out. The information that you're collected has to be authentic and valuable. You need to make sure that cleanliness is important whenever you are conducting your survey. Employee performance is also needed to be taken into account. Your comfort is very important as well as the comfort of the customer is important. Your overall service needs to be really of top class. And regional satisfaction depends on which area or region you are really located and based out of. Let's understand what are the benefits of measuring your own effectiveness. Well, it helps you to improve your customer service because once you get all the data and once you are able to do a good survey, you are able to get all that information to improve your customer service. Turning customers into your brand ambassadors your customers are nothing but your brand ambassadors who speak out for your particular product or service. Discovering competitive advantages. While you were doing the survey, you would also definitely come to know what are your competitive advantages. 
You focus on the new upcoming trends, run and analyze surveys on a regular basis. Do not just do a survey once and forget about it and the next year you wake up, rise and shine and then do the survey. Make sure that you run surveys which are pretty much consistent every time. Why surveys don't always reflect a reality? Well friends, there could be a number of reasons why the survey that you have conducted doesn't really give you a realistic figure of what is actually happening. Let's take a look at those reasons. The first is consumers cannot break down their decisions. A lot of times what happens is customers are not able to take a decision and in a hurry they just give out whatever information according to their own biasness. The second is the prime questions are not answered in that survey. Probably you have not made a questionnaire which is relevant to them and the prime questions or the important questions are left unanswered. Focus groups are not influenced by group behavior. Well, every customer is different and no two customers are the same ever. So probably while you are making the survey, you have not been able to concentrate on that. Fourth means online survey doesn't reflect decisions that were made. So probably offline and online channels is what you need to really look into when you're conducting a survey. Asking is not replaced by observing. A lot of times you need to just observe your customer rather than asking them questions because the action speaks louder than the words. Hence, probably that might have not worked for you because you asked too many things rather than observing them. Sixth is that all variables are not tested. You just stuck to one particular thing rather than going for a variety. Other variables were not tested. Data is not from a confident source. When that particular source from whom you're getting the data is not somebody who's trustworthy or doesn't have ethics and integrity issues are being questioned, that is when you know that your surveys are not always realistically uh, you know, perceived as very, very realistic. Let's understand certain ideas for evaluating your own performance. If you had to do a survey for yourself, what would certain ideas be? Level of execution, what level would you like to execute that idea? What is the kind of quality of work that you really like to put into that survey of yours? So quality versus quantity is very important. Level of creativity, how much are you thinking out of the box to make sure that your survey looks very, very creative. Fourth is the amount of consistent improvement which is required as a part and parcel of this particular survey. Customer and peer feedback is also again one of the ways in order to access or evaluate your own performance. Another way is your sales revenue generated. How much revenue are your sales getting you know, generated? Responsiveness to feedback. Once a customer has given you a critical feedback, how good are you responding to that particular feedback? Are you making certain improvements or no? Ability to take ownership. A lot of times we push the blame on each other, our colleagues or our uh, different people in our organization. Rather, it's better to take the ownership and responsibility and accountability. Percentage of tasks completed on a particular time, whether you're procrastinating or doing things accordingly. Being on time and on budget, which is a serious mistake for a lot of people. They are never on time and they're always never on the budget. So this is something you need to measure for your own performance. Well friends, what really measurement of a satisfaction means to your business? Once you have understood your entire customers, the survey is done properly, what exactly or how exactly do you measure your customer satisfaction? Well, you amaze your customers is something that is delighting your customers. Again, you exceed your customer's expectation. How much does a customer expect from you and are you able to exceed that customer expectation is what you need to look at. Or are you really meeting your customer expectation? So at the bottom of the pyramid is what you have to or generally, generally do is meet your customer expectation. Then is exceeding them, delighting them and amazing them or just giving them a wow factor. That is what you need to know in order to 
measure your success as a business. Well friends, I do hope you have enjoyed listening to this particular module on customer satisfaction. Please make sure that you are satisfying all your customers out there. If you have any feedback or any kind of queries, please do not hesitate and write in to us. Thank you very much for watching us. Tutorialspoint.com. Simply easy learning.